This is your Message Minute with Pastor Chris Byers of St. John's Lutheran Church in beautiful Gillette, Wisconsin, for Saturday after Pentecost 8, July 24th, 2021. For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. For people swear by something greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of, our, of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain where Jesus is gone as a forerunner on our behalf having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews 6, verses 13 through 20. Sometimes, we seem to make oaths and promises far too easily, and unfortunately, we don't always keep them. In our modern world, this is normal. It has not always been so, though. In ancient cultures, oaths and promises were made in blood and the cost of breaking them could be your life. When God made his promise to Abraham, Abraham understood how serious this was and trusted. Abraham did not concern himself with it being made at the cost of the life of God. Truly, at this time, it would be silly to believe that the life of God could be taken. Yet, we have God redeeming our failure and purchasing us from sin in blood by the crucifixion of his Son, Jesus Christ. Our Lord entered in and cleansed us all behind the curtain through which we all are called. This promise is unbreakable and over and over was confirmed before the coming of our Lord. God showed in Abraham that when he was 100 and his wife Sarah was 90, God can bring life out of something thought half dead. Then, through Jesus, he broke the bonds of death and showed us something greater as we await the fulfillment of his promise at our end. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I ask you to protect me this day also from sin and every evil, that in all I do today I may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all that is mine. Let your holy angel watch over me, that the wicked foe have no power over me. Amen.